Thanks for clicking Weather on Demand. I'm Sean Householder for UpperMichiganSource.com. And we take a look at a cool almanac from yesterday. The high fell well, about 10 degrees below the long term average and the low. Well, that was a cool low. That was 11 degrees below what we would normally expect for yesterday's date. Now it's a chilly morning for us, but plenty of sunshine winds out of the south, so that'll start to warm us up, especially across the western interior. I think we'll uh, work out just about an average day of temperatures today. So here's this troughiness and the next low pressure system that'll work in for uh, the second half of the work week right into the weekend. That'll bring a pretty sharp cool down towards the end of the week. Uh, here's this next uh, system that we'll be watching and that's working slowly northeast eastward across Iowa and the central plains. That'll eventually toss some cloud cover our way. And uh, as you'll notice, high pressure has uh, created a dry situation for us across the Great Lakes. That means plenty of sunshine. We keep dry, tranquil weather today. And as this front works in, we see slowly increasing clouds and that thing will start to uh, encounter drier air as it works in. So it'll start to weaken just a bit. Nonetheless, I think it'll produce a few spotty showers as early as tonight and through a good part of the day on our Wednesday. Here's what we're watching right now. So winds are for the most part calm and uh, not much in the way of cloud cover. So there were some cool spots. Iron River, one of them, 31 there uh, at the 8 o'clock hour into the low and mid 30s looking further south. There was a uh, frost advisory effective for a large portion of the upper peninsula and so spotty uh, frost was possible this morning. Temperatures across the area into the 40s, especially further north. Sawyer checking in 37 though, but we start to lose the uh, calm, stable and cool effects of that Canadian high pressure. Winds will be out of the south ahead of this next front. You'll see that here and uh, as this thing continues to work in, we'll pick up on some spotty cloud coverage chance for some showers and uh, even a thunderstorm by Thursday is more warmer and more humid air works in. But for now, it's another tranquil, pleasant fall like day with uh, plenty of sunshine and wind steady out of the south. And that'll help temperatures work into the upper 60s, low 70s and some of the warmer spots like into the western interior, a little cooler east, especially by the uh, Lake Michigan shoreline will hold into the 60s there. All in all, it's a nice, tranquil day though. And then as we look ahead at tonight, temperatures will be buffered by winds out of the south and all the cloud cover moving in, keeping us insulated. So they'll stay into the upper 40s, low 50s. And uh, I do think that we'll watch the chance for some shower activity, mainly south and along that Wisconsin line. And then by Wednesday, we're warmer temperatures again into the 60s and low 70s, but we'll keep the cloud cover. And there's a chance for that uh, light rain shower activity continue through much of the day. Warmer still on your Thursday, spotty sunshine, and that'll bring some instability that could fuel a couple of thunderstorms. Uh, and then we'll talk about a sharp cool down for Friday and we'll keep lingering rain and cool air right through the first part of the weekend dry by Sunday. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.